Good morning, it's Rachel from Central Texas Zone 8B and today I'm going to be potting up my elephant ears that I got from Costco. <laughs> um, I'm going to be uh, filling these partway with dirt, uh, <clears throat> planting these guys in. This is the spot that goes up. There already, some of them are already kind of sprouting a little bit. Um, I don't know, probably can't see from here. Um, wet, wetting the soil a little bit and then I'm going to put them in these um, these buckets into these containers with lids on and keep them inside. I am also, oops, sorry. I am also going to keep a few containers in a little tiny like uh, pop-up greenhouse that I have to see how those do. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, the, these are pretty easy to tell which on the this one which one um, which end goes down. This end with the little roots coming out. That's the old roots coming out. That's the down one. And normally when there's this little I up top, that is the end that points up. Um, most people say if you can't figure it out, they do fine if you plant them on their side. I've never done that. I have killed these in the past when I bought them from the store and they've been like super clean and I ha couldn't figure out which side and I planted them upside down. So yeah, I mean generally what I've heard is you look for this eye and then on the bottom if there's like little signs that there was little roots that came out, then that's the side that goes down. Sorry if that's not super helpful. I'm not, I've only grown elephant ears one year before this. Um, so this is me pre-sprouting them so that I get um, more interest um, from them earlier in the season. So this soil is already a little damp. Hi, Mo. So this is the upright elephant ears I'm gonna be potting up here. Nope, don't steal my pen dirt all over you. This thing likes to steal anything. She especially loves to steal socks out of shoes. Like you cannot leave your socks by your shoes or out of your sh in your shoes. And if you try to put your socks on while you're sitting on the ground, she will come and steal them out of your hand. So <laughs> little thief. She also likes to put her head right where the dirt's going. So she's constantly, I'm constantly having to brush dirt out of her fur. So again, kind of the pointed side down, the side with the little like swirly eye up. I'm just putting a few inches in the bottom and then loosely filling the dirt in around it until they're covered. And I will be labeling these. I have tape and a Sharpie. Trying to steal my scissors too. Okay, so again, here's all the little roots coming out this side, and then the little eye we look for on this side. And there's already some little kind of sprouting um, stuff here. No. Next up are the Aloha ones. These are the kind of darker, kind of, they have a little bit of a burgundy to them. Um, kind of little modeling, kind of cool colors. I like it. Same process. A couple inches in the bottom, probably about two or three. These are a little smaller, so I actually might put four inches in. These bolts are a little tinier. 
So the roots, this one's a little harder to tell. There, there are some leftover roots here and then they left a bit of a, more of a stock on this one. So I can see where they cut off the previous year's growth. one's already got some green coming out of it at the eyelets at top so again easy to tell little roots coming out the bottom old stock portion at the top what do you mean got my pin again no <laughs> stop stealing my stuff just going to label these other two because the other nine ones are just the regular variety so I'm just going to um, know that the regular ver the, this regular variety that there's nine of them and they're all on labels so did you get my pen again give it back They're a good size. Okay, so I'll try to show you a little bit better. The uh, these these are a little cleaner, so they're hard, harder to tell than the other one. But I believe yes. So this is the little eye portion right here, and then as you can see on this other side, there's all these little kind of pinpoint holes all over it. Those are where the old roots came out. So there's kind of these swirling up here and then an eye there's another growth point here i think so yeah and then they're just kind of these like little pinpoint divot holes hopefully you can see what i'm talking about and those are where the old roots came out so this is going to go little swirly eye pointed up again if you can't tell i have heard people say you can plant them sideways do not take that that is not a toy can you move you are very dirty now. No, 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 no. Mouse. side. She's just putting her head right where I need to be. Okay, make, no, move. No, can you get your head off? Now I probably will come back in and water, put a little water over these. Um, just kind of keep them, keep the soil damp around them. Not, I don't want them to completely dry out, but you also don't want to waterlog them and have them rot, I guess. I don't know. Oh, you found another thing. I'm going to get that back. I'm probably going to wipe dirt all over my face here. All right. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do an assembly line style here to get this. I'll back up here so you can see what I'm doing.
Oh, well, this one's a little harder to tell. But you can see there's these little roots coming out right here. So there's the eye and the little dots on the side. More than nine in here. Let's got ten. Cool. These two are kind of tiny, so I'm gonna sprout them in the same container because I don't have enough dirt for a tenth one. So these ended up fitting perfectly into um, these containers. So I'm going to put the lids on these just like so and leave them inside in a um, warm place. They don't need sunlight yet because they have not sprouted. Um, yeah, uh, if I'd had extra, I would have tried a few out in my little pop-up greenhouse, but um, just to see how they did but I, they ended up all fitting, fitting in here perfectly. So I'm gonna leave these alone. They kind of are very slow to sprout. I believe they take several weeks. Um, at least mine last year were very slow to sprout. Um, so anyhow, I will keep y'all updated on how these are doing. See you in the next video, bye.